Big looks good when you're Bill Gates eyeing his double-decker yacht sitting in the bay, but maybe not so much when you're handed a blind date dinner bill that could be confused for a phone number. Chevrolet's time on your Tahoe falls on both the good and the bad sides of bigness. On one hand, it's a comfortably appointed people hauler that features a full array of safety tech and entertainment treats. On the other hand, it's hobbled by its pickup truck origins and is an expensive to buy, expensive to operate giant with a marginally useful third row. While the Tahoe is based on the Chevrolet Silverado's body on frame design, this SUV benefits from a smoother riding 5-link, coil spring rear suspension in place of the pickup sleeve springs. The Tahoe also shares that truck's 5.3-liter V8 and 6-speed automatic transmission. This aluminum small block is equipped with direct fuel injection, variable valve timing, and cylinder deactivation for improved fuel economy. Here, it makes 355 horsepower and 383 pounds to foot of torque. That's the only available powertrain, but it can be configured with rear or four-wheel drive. Today, truck-based behemoths such as the Tahoe are fighting an uphill battle to remain relevant amid the mounting popularity of crossovers that are better tailored to a variety of needs. Back in 2002, Chevy sold more than 200,000 Tahoes in a year, but it hasn't topped half that figure since 2007. With gasoline prices low of late, sales have rebounded somewhat since the 2012 nadir of fewer than 70,000 units. Of course, being based on a huge selling pickup platform makes the Tahoe and its corporate cousins, the GMC Yukon and the Cadillac Escalade, easy to keep in production even as the market for them shrinks. These vehicles die hard buyers are people who really need to carry up the second <laughs>